All right, folks. I am Brian Nutter, and I am with Summit Racing, and uh, it's a great day today. Uh, I want to introduce to everyone Mike Kovacs from Edelbrock, one of the best names in the entirety of the aftermarket. Hi. Thanks. Glad to be here. Nice. All right. So he's been with the company for about seven years, and the cool thing about Edelbrock is, you know, basically we're on a tear right now. Uh, they have come out with a very full line of Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS uh, and Vortec parts, uh, intake manifold, cylinder heads, uh, supercharger kits, you know, you name it. Uh, this is the time of year where Mike comes to visit Summit Racing and he says, hey, here's what's cool and new for 2018. He does uh, training with us, gives us all the fine details that we need to give you the best possible combination for your vehicle. So. Getting started off, we have a table of goodies in front of us. Yes, we uh, do. Starting off with the ProFlow XT, uh, what can you tell us about that? Uh, this is our new ProFlow XT for the LS3. Uh -huh. uh, previous, we had it available for all your Cathedral Port applications. Um, until uh, about SEMA of, of last year, we came out with the LS3 application. Um, just some subtle changes to it. Uh, the nicest part is in our testing what we did is this really hits in that sweet spot of that 4,000 plus RPM range. Uh, it's capable of uh, taking either a nine, stock 90 millimeter or it'll go up to a uh, um, 105 millimeter throttle body. Um, and it really fits a, a niche out there for that tunnel ram style manifold. Yeah. One of, the, one of the cool things, you know, the tunnel rams, you know, they're known to make great power. Uh, you know, they, they start surpassing pretty much any uh, clamshell style manifold by about, say, 5,500. And by 7,000, you'll see gains 35, 45 horsepower, 7,500. These intake manifolds do not stop. You know, so with today's high-flowing cylinder heads, the cam technology out there, what, you know, allows a hydraulic roller to pull 7,500, 8,000 RPM exactly. plus. You know, so everything is coming together at just the right time. You know, the really cool thing about Edelbrock is any time that I need to know what is it going to fit. You know, these guys have been great about having everything dimensioned. You know, so you can go into your engine bay, take some measurements and say, you know, okay, am I going to have to notch this? Am I going to have to, you know, do whatever. Correct. Uh, the tunnel ram does require a little bit of work on the, on the cowl, trimming of the cowl, but your wipers stay in place, glass stays in place. It's not major surgery. The, uh, it's, it's only nine inches tall, which is about two to three inches shorter than some of the other tunnel rams that are out there. Correct. Right. So it does, it does, yeah, it does fit a lot of applications, but we still recommend that you check measurements on what you're trying to put it into. Absolutely. Uh, one of the big things that we did get out of this um, in testing against what's currently available, um, we were able on the top end to pull out about 16 more horsepower than about anything we tested. Um, along with moving that RPM range out about another 500. Yeah, that's that's a big thing. I mean, that's that's racing horsepower. So if you got some gear, you got some converter. Uh, the bottom ends in these engines, you know, the, the cranks don't break in these things. You know, the rods are strong, especially Gen 4 rods. Uh, you know, so it's it's a nice piece. You know, the other thing about it is construction. Uh, it is nitrous friendly. It is boost friendly. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you get a you get a bad backfire on on the gas, and and you'll have a problem with and your plastic whoosh, intake. Yes. Your thousand dollar intake is uh, it's shattered. So that's what's cool about these intakes, uh, which you know if you want to talk about it, that's one of the big thing about the single planes as well, that you guys do the Victor Juniors. Okay, uh, and our Victor Junior are, are cast aluminum intakes. Um, it is a traditional style uh, intake. But along with our elbow combinations, you can run about any size throttle body you want, and they're also boost friendly and, and nitrous friendly as well. Yeah, what, what's cool, you know, is is you know the air-to-air -air intercoolers. I mean, that's a, a certain crowd out there. But you know, so many people are running the big air-to-water intercoolers inside, you know, the passenger compartment. So this is perfect for just being able to turn that elbow around. Uh, very easy to do maintenance at the track. Uh, you know, that's that's one of the biggest things about it. Right. Right. So kind of moving on, uh, you know, the other cool thing, I mean, just look at it. The LS3 had, uh, it, uh, cylinder head out there, there's a variety of different LS3s. You know, you've got the ported ones. They don't ever seem to run quite as well as what the CFM would suggest. I mean, you, you can hit, you know, over 500 wheel horsepower with them. But, you know, some of these aftermarket heads are just, you know, phenomenal. Uh, very small cross sections outflow the LS3 by gangbusters. You guys took it to a new level by basically going Gen 5 cannon valve with something that fits factory manifolds. Correct. 
Yeah, we, we, uh, we took a, a, a clean sheet of paper on this head. Most of the, most of the LS3 heads that are out there available now are just basically, um, for lack of better terms, a stock head with a, with a CNC port. Hmm. Um, when the LT1s came out with that canned valve configuration, it kind of opened that door for us to play into other stuff and kind of look at playing with it back into some older stuff, which is what we did with this ECNC LS3 head. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal and it looks pretty sturdy too. It is. Uh, it's, it's got a, a, a thicker deck on it, uh, reinforced bolt bosses. Nice. Um, and it can handle about anything you want to put at it. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. You know, what's, what's really neat is, you know, I'm looking here at the, uh, at the pedestals and things, and, you know, you, just, you can see a little bit of the cant. So rather than having the valves up and down, they're canted out a little bit, and that allows some extra airflow into the cylinder. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, part of the revolution. You know the evolution, you know whatever you want to call it, but I, I consider it a revolution when we're, you know, adding some pretty serious racing technology to, you know, you know, engines that are used on the street. Yeah, we're flowing almost uh, 400 at 800 on this head. Right. You know, and those are, you know they sound like big numbers, but you know these days you know you're just getting started at 600 lift. You know, so running 660, 700 lift, uh, the ability to accommodate a stock rocker as well is is a big deal because it's a very lightweight rocker. So. Yeah. Allows it to really scream 7,500, no problem. You know, before you have to go with, you know, rollers and shaft mount and, and other things like that. On, on this head, uh, everything re maintains stock locations. Mm -hmm. So all your accessory drives, your rockers, everything else stock. Factory pulls right back to it. The exhaust is raised a hair, but it's only like 125. Sure, sure. So you don't have to worry about getting something and you know having it not fit. You know, as with Edelbrock, everything that they do, it's it's very uh, uh, engine builder friendly. Now the other cool thing uh, that's been out now for about a year is the, the Crossram intake manifold. Uh, you guys put a ton of effort into this thing. You, uh, many years of development into that Crossram. Yep. The, so some of the things that you can't see, and, and a lot of people don't think about it, is you know, they've got four crossovers inside. Uh, the, the mixture distribution to each cylinder with a factory in, intake manifold is it's not so hot. You have some cylinders that are running rich, some that are running lean. And if you only have one O2 on the thing, it's telling you, you just, got just giving you yeah. an average, <laughs> yeah. right? You know, so that's what, what's cool. You know, these guys are the airflow experts, and they recognize this. They have their own dyno facility, so they can test, you know, across all eight cylinders to make sure that the flow is, is equal. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool things that, you know, we were just talking before we started the video is, a lot of people build, and, and we talked about on the ProFlow, is a lot of people build these intake manifolds, and it's, it's great. It makes a lot of horsepower, but does it fit in your car? You can see some fine details back here on the back of the plenums, you know, where they've thought about you. So if you want to put this thing into a fifth-gen uh, Camaro, you don't have to worry about fitment. It's not going to take a bunch of surgery uh, to make that thing fit. Correct. And we did some, just some unique design features on this as well, uh, with as low, low as it sits, it will fit into a Camaro application, as we just discussed. The crossovers, like you discussed, but we also put a different mounting location for the coil packs on the side of each plenum. Right. Because of having to squat this down so low to the engine, we had to do something with the coils to get them out of the way. Yeah, and the LS is a beautiful engine, but those coils do get in the way, and uh, it's not the prettiest thing. And if you're going to have an intake manifold like this, uh, just go ahead and move them somewhere else in the engine bay. Yeah. So that's a good deal. So the cool thing about this intake, you know, versus pretty much every other intake out there, you've got the long runner clamshell aftermarket intakes, and they make more power everywhere compared to stock, but they're a little bit more biased down, you know, towards that 3,500, maybe to 6,500 is where they're designed. And then you have the very short runner uh, manifolds that, you know, they're, they're really good, and tunnel rims included, you know, very powerful at uh, 5,500 uh, to 7,000 plus. This manifold is pretty unique in that it makes more power down low, more power up top. Correct. And we were able to, we were able to pull out almost uh, 30 on both ends of it. Right. I was looking at some of the tech specs in it, 13 and a half inch length runners, you know, so just by virtue of, you know, being able to spread it out, you're able to get the long runner and the flow. Now that long runner gives us a good solid bottom end too. Right. And all the throttle body area in the world too. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing. And we're, we're currently working on, with the twin throttle bodies, we're currently working on in development on a controller for those as well. Um, we don't have anything solid yet on okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some examples up and running, but I know you guys are going to have that to market maybe even you know, pretty soon. I, I know it's coming. 
So the other thing, you know, the Summit's really big into offering you everything that you need for a Gen 3 or Gen 4 LS. We've got it all, you know, just top to bottom. Um, you guys have, you know, really manufactured a lot of cool parts as well. Uh, you know, water pumps, uh, you know, your, your, your coil covers, uh, trying to think what else. Uh, we have fuel system upgrades, um, the coil covers, as you mentioned, val um, uh, different size pulleys for the blowers for the LSs to get different boost levels. Right. There's a lot of different applications we do. We actually do a, a cartridge style water pump uh, for a race application, it was not for a street application on an LS, so it makes a water pump change to the track a lot easier than ripping the front of the motor down. That's right. Um, and we're growing that, that LS category because it's still a growing category for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, you know, if you think about it, you know, the LS1 was introduced back in about 1997, and, and even the LS3 started, you know, that's you know, basically, you know, 2010 or so is when that engine was released. So, you know, it, it is the small block. It, it, at some point, we're going to start referring to these things as the small block, but yeah, we're not there not quite yet. yet. There's still there's still a lot of 23 degrees out there. Yeah, you know, we, we love the 23s. You know, it's just we've always, always have. You know, we're strong in that market, but, uh, you know, late model EFI is, is where we're at right now, and, and, you know, just new parts coming out every day for these things. Mike, I want to thank you very much for coming to Summit Racing and, and sharing all these cool things for 2018. Well, we appreciate you having us and, and look forward to returning. All right. Just remember you can find all of our stuff on summitracing.com.